I am at Deer Creek State Park. This is a, I couldn't tell you what trail I'm on. Um, this is a little pond I ran into here, out in the woods. It is the end of October, and I actually have seen a turtle already out here. And if you feel like sitting down, I think this bench here has probably seen its better days. The trails aren't really all that long down here, and they're pretty flat. You might go up and down a few ravines, but nothing serious. I don't know which way we go. But we're just gonna go this way. And I found too, some of the blazes are really cool. I'm gonna assume that's probably a turtle. I found a few of them shaped like that and a few of them are just red spots on trees or whatever. This is how most of the blazes are right here. And they are pretty well marked, but the trails are pretty, the trail so far, that's the first trail I've been on here. It's pretty easy. Okay, I am parked down here near the, the lodge. The trail I was on was actually the bridal trail. The bridal trail according to the website is like 17 miles. I do want to hike that. That'd be a nice hike. But um, it's too late in the day to get started on. That's where I started at here. Which is point M. That's not the one I actually wanted to take. Um, like I said, I do want to hike the bridal trail. But not today. I don't have time. I'm actually looking for a hiking trail and it is over here this is where I wanted to start at rolling hills trail and I think this will take me up towards the campgrounds so I want to start at N not M um, two miles um, one way to campground. So basically it's gonna be a four mile, so this is an out and back, so I can get back to my vehicle. So this is where we wanted to, I wanted to start at. It's on a hiking trail. So we're gonna start again. And like I say, this should take us over to the campground. So basically this connects the campground and the lodge. So the first one I was on where we saw the little pond, that's the bridal trail. 
one day I'll come back down and I'm gonna do the whole thing. What's your thing? According to ODNR site, it's uh, 17 miles. This one does have a few roots you gotta watch for. means we're gonna go to the left I'm gonna go down here I want to see what this is down here though a little stream this is P so now we are here so if I went to the, not to the left I went to the right if I go to the right that's this I'm not sure what that trail is but we're going to stay on here, which actually will bring us back out to M. Okay. It's my first time here, so I'm learning this as I go. So I could have actually continued on M. It's not an out and back, it's a loop. But we're right here. So if I actually went to the right, it's going to take me back out to the parking lot that way. But showing also straight and to the left. I'm not sure. I'm only seeing three here unless it's on the other side. Okay, so I imagine that could be the one that was the orange one. I don't see, I see a yellow, maybe it was yellow. I see a yellow blaze. We're going to go this way, which is the red. All right. Rolling Hills Trail, left and right, to camp, to the right, to lodge to the left. Rich and Horn Nature Trail, this way. I don't know, we're just going to wander through here. I mean, I'm not in no big uh, rush, but according to the map, this one here says Rolling Trail, Rolling Hills Trail, and is to the left and the right, and to the camp is to the right, or the right. So we're going to go this way. I'm still on the Rolling Hills Trail. Um... The lake is just over here to the right, and I'm wishing this trail would actually take me over there so I can see the lake, but so far, no. So that's one of the things I'm finding disappointing about this trail. I'm not getting to get a good view of the lake yet. Maybe in other spots, I don't know. Right there's one of the ends of it. And you can see it through the trees a little bit. Looks like a nice sized lake too. But this trail, the Rolling Hills Trail, so far has not given me any good views of it. There is another trail that I, I saw that looks like it does. At least it bores it. It's called, I think, Lake View. I don't know about some of these little bridges they got in here and they have a bridal trail in here so you can ride horses I went across one bridge on the bridal trail that I do not think I would trust being on my horse's back while my horse crossed that bridge I mean when I walked across it it bounced Uh, 
Okay, we might get a look at the lake here now. We got a little beach down there. Okay, if not, I'm going to walk through here to go down there so I can get a nice view of it. Here's a little side trail. Out there on a boat. Yeah, I wonder this here, I'm calling a little beach. But I have a feeling by the looks of this, the water level is low, and this is usually underwater where we're standing right now. I think there's a dam here somewhere. I'm going to try to see if I can find it before I take off. I don't know what that drive is over there. Like I said, this is my first time here, so. I don't know too much about this park, or really anything about this park. As I mentioned, this park, the trails look pretty easy to do. Nothing major. No hills. It's flat. But I'm sort of questionable on some of these bridges, though. <laughs> uh, no hills, but it. You do have a lot of up and downs through ravines. Nothing major. If climbing in and out of ravines doesn't bother you, then you, you shouldn't have no problem with this. But as for actual hills, no, nothing. I think before I started, when I looked at all trails, I think the total elevation gain was under 500. Between, maybe, 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 might have been between five and 600. I mean, it was so flat, I didn't even bother bringing my trekking poles, left them in the car. I would say keep an eye out on the roots though. Every now and then you encounter some roots, trip hazards, if you want to call it that. <laughs>
when I get to the end, I'm going to try and see if I can find another way back. Maybe by the bridle trail or something. So I don't have to do an out and back. I don't mind the loops. But I actually hate out and backs. I don't like walking back what I just walked. So I'm going to try to see if I can find another way back. Somehow if I can connect into the bridle trail. Although, now I think about it. When I looked at that map earlier, it wasn't an out and back, it was a loop. So I think I'm good on that. I forgot about that. Yet to see another person out here though. Seen a lot of people in the campground, parking lots and so forth, but haven't run into another person on the trail yet. I'm willing to bet that most people that go to parks they go to camp and do other things, which is cool. No problem with that. And they probably a very small percentage of campers or visitors go on the trails. And if they do, they don't go far from the trailhead. Okay, here's another view. I don't know how many acres this lake is. I'm going to have to look it up. This is the biggest hill I've climbed so far. I'm almost to the top. And there's the bottom. <laughs> I say that's the biggest hill I've climbed. It's just a ravine. I did finally run into a couple. I was beginning to wonder why there's nobody out here. And I finally just did run into a man and a woman hiking. You know, on a park map, it shows I can do this as a loop. Like I said, but the reason I kept saying out and back is because on all trails, which is what I originally looked at, it shows that it's just going out and coming back the same trail. That I'm not going to do. One thing I like about all trails, the, the trail that is specific for that map, you know, for that map, it has it highlighted and you can follow it and it shows you where you're at on it. But if you look, you can see other trails too in the park as dashed lines. So if you want to go off of the main trail, maybe take a side trail, you can still follow it on all trails. It'll show you your location with the dot, which I think it's a blue dot. And it'll just show you on one of the dotted, the dash trail instead of the main trail for that particular map. Yeah, <laughs> I'd say the benches here have seen better days. All right, Rolling Hills Trail, which is where we're at. Lodge back to the left. We're at the halfway point now, and camp to the right, which is where we're going to the campground.
So the first sign said it was two miles to the campground. And we're at halfway point now. So we still got another mile yet. I would say the flat wasn't so dry, but this trail would have a few small water crossings, like right here. We should be almost to the campground. I hear a dog barking. I didn't go into the campground, so I don't know how full it is. I saw a few people going in and out of there, so I'm going to assume there's probably a few people there. I was actually thinking about going camping tonight, or last night, I mean. Pull into the campground, sit down, get me something to eat, figure out how I'm going to go back without returning on this trail. At least if I can try to avoid returning the whole way on this trail. I'd say that was probably one time a bench. see campers over there so I see campers up here in front of me I don't know how many sites are here. Somebody brought their Halloween decorations with them set up in their campsite. <laughs> I was thinking for a minute we were gonna walk up right beside that camper. And I was thinking I would not want that sight. People walking up right beside my campsite like that. Okay, I am on the bridal trail now. This should be a rough walk because horses can really tear up the ground.
I gotta have to keep a close eye. I have a general idea how this trail's gonna go. I just have to keep an eye on where I'm at, where I need to bushwhack through the woods to catch the other trail. That'll take me back to the <clears throat> to the lodge. Otherwise, this trail, what it does is it loops around and it's gonna bring me right back to this spot. And I don't want to do that. I've yet to see a horse out here though. Or anybody here in the campground with a horse. That way, and go that way. So I'm gonna have to look at my app and find out which way I gotta go here. Looks like this bridal trail is gonna be out here in the open most of the, most of the time. Oh, one thing about this, if I felt like bailing, this is following the road over there. So we're only like about 7,500 yards from the road all the way back. So it wouldn't be hard to bail on this trail if I wanted to. But no plans to do that. Deer Creek is not really that big. And the woods are not really that big. It's pretty much locked in. This road's pretty close all the way around it. I, in my opinion, I think it would be impossible to get lost in here. As I mentioned earlier, I can still use the All Trails app to keep me in line on this trail, but this trail is not really hard. But it'll still show me my spot where I'm at. And the trail for that specific map is highlighted, but other trails are still there as, as dashed lines. And it shows me my location. So I can still use all trails to do trails in the park that they may not have a specific map for. Now, as always, you should never totally rely on it because you should also keep track of where you're at and know where you're at.
Yeah, I said that I wouldn't mind coming back and doing the 17 miles of the bridal trail. But this is why I really don't like hiking bridal trails. It's really easy to twist an ankle. So, I may not come back and do it. I can think of 17 miles that I'd rather do somewhere else. <laughs> like, look at this. Do I want to do 17 miles of that? Not really. Well, looks like we're going back into the woods. You know, I uh, see a lot of something. Well, that's what I was just getting ready to speak about. I haven't found much horse crap out here on this trail. And all of a sudden, I find one. I'd be shocked to hear that they'd come out here and actually clean it up. There's more. See, so not only do you have to watch your footing and the pulls that the horses make, you gotta watch, make sure you don't step in any horse crap. When we exited the, oh man, I can't even think of the name of the trail now. The trail we took in, and as we were entering into the campground, remember the big field that was off to the left? This must be it. If I was to walk down that way, I could see something down there. If I was to walk down that way, I bet this would take me right back into that campground area. And right there's the road. Again, I wanted to break out and get out of the woods. But we're going to continue on. I want to try to get out of here and head over to, uh, I want to say it's called the Lake View Trail, which I think borders along the lake. I want to try to get that done too today before I leave. Oh, we got a little road crossing here. I didn't, look my, didn't notice this. Um, I looks at it on the map, it looks like I think this may take you back to where that pond was at that we were at earlier. So I got time, I might come back, drive back there and see how close it gets to the pond. We're starting to get close to where I'm going to have to head through the woods to catch the other trail. Like I said, I'm going to have to keep an eye on it so I don't miss it. And if I was to guess, 
I'd say it's not more than one or two hundred feet. Looks on the map, looks really close. It's not like I'm gonna have to bushwhack a half a mile or a mile or whatever. These woods just aren't that big. Well, when I got to the campground and walked around the campground a little bit, found me a vacant campsite. I took advantage of it and set, pulled up in, sat down at the table, ate me a salad. Watched some of the campers walking around. Figured out. I can find another route back to the lodge without repeating what I already walked. And then that brought us to where we're at now. I would say for my preference, I'd rather be walking the nice dirt trails through the woods than I would something like this. To each their own though. There's something way over there. That's probably, that road probably leads to that. But what is this? And why is it like here? I'm gonna say that it's probably for hunting. A, um, oh, I can't think what they're called now. A blind. Do they offer hunting down here? But the thing is, the way it's positioned, look, you know, unless they catch deer coming out of that field right here, and coming through right here, maybe that's, they just catch a deer coming through here, right along this trail. So I'd say that's probably what this is, probably a blind for hunting. Poor deer don't have a chance. <laughs> okay, as I was coming down, and I hit the, um, where I, I was going to turn left, and then shortly after that is where I start to look and see where I was going to cut through the woods. But then I ran into this trail, which is not on all trails at all. But it's heading in the direction I want to go, so I just decided to take it. There's bulldozers sitting up there, too. I don't know what bulldozers are there for. So I'm just taking this. Like I said, it's not on the map, but it's going the direction I want to go. So I guarantee, unless this thing does a total 180. It's gonna, it's gonna lock me in between the road on my right, the parking lot for the lodge, and then the, the lake on the left. So, I'm not concerned about it. It's, I, like I said, unless this thing does a 180, 
it's going to take me where I need to go. So that's why I decided to jump on it. It may be on the park map. I don't know. I grabbed a park map and guess where it's at? In my car. A sign up here. Let's see what this sign says. There's a little trail right here, too. Snowmobile. I'm not going to follow that. I don't feel like doing all that ducking and stuff. I'm going to keep following this one. I hear something up here beeping. There's a bunch of construction equipment up here by the lodge. Looks like... Doing some renovation up here. Uh, there's the road. So it's going to bring us out to the road. Once we hit this road and just turn left, probably even look left, and I'll already see the lodge. And there's the lodge. We made it back. Trail going off there with a the horse, so that must be part of the bridle trail. I don't know where that goes. Not a lot of road exploring I could do down here. It's not a real big park, but they seem to have a lot of little roads going off here and there. Now I'm gonna go see if I can find. Actually, when I leave out of here, I'm going to go back that one drive where I said it may go back to that pond. Now I'm going to go see if I can find the Lakeview Trail. I think we got time to do the Lakeview Trail. It's 23 o'clock. The Lakeview Trail looks like a pretty small trail. There's some more cabins. I'm not going to record them all. They got more back there. I mean, this just gives you a general idea. It looks like they're sort of like in, you know, groups of them. Maybe a half a dozen to eight of them in a group. But it doesn't look like anybody's in the cabins. Not like it was in the campground. I'm going to try if I can see if I can see inside any of them. I don't know how many bedrooms they are in here. And the lake's right out back. A ghost. Can't really even see inside of them. I don't know. The windows aren't the best for trying to look inside. Looks like this might be a living room here, a front room, so. This looks like it's a kitchen. So maybe a one bedroom? I mean, it looks. Well, maybe a two bedroom. You know how wide it is. It might be a two bedroom. You got a fire pit, and you got a grill, but there's picnic tables over there. I don't know if 
they line them up like that for this time of season or and then they, during you know camping season they put one table at each cabin how many is here one two three four five six seven cabins right here but like I said as you go further back they're set up a little differently and there's a few of them that actually really nice locations like I said number 21 looks really nice so now I'm going to go over here and see if I can find the trailhead all right so now I'm all the way here at the back by the cabins and here's some more cabins here see there's 21 right there that one looks slick you got brush on both sides of you. Anyway, I talked to a couple of people and they, they said that, that trail back there, is, I don't think they maintain it. But this is the rest of it here. This here, this is where I would have, so, Adena Ridge Trail, okay. Three quarter mile loop. This looks a lot better. <laughs> this looks better than where we were just at. So now we'll follow this. And so we got lake over here on the right. And there's lake over here on the left, and this is supposed to take us right out to the point. And that's why I wanted to follow this one. That's why I decided to do this one instead of that lake view. They should call this one lake view. Backpacking. I don't know where that goes to down there. Can't go far because we're out on a peninsula. So. <laughs> this is an out and back, but it's a loop part too, I think. It sort of loops out and then we come back to the same spot. And that, that trail I just looked at, that might be the, the, the return of the end of the loop. We'll find out in a minute. I doubt it though. Why would they maintain it like this good here? And then that other part, they let it go. Hey, what, these boaters are out there. They're taking advantage of this nice weather. Getting some time in out on the lake. It is October 23rd, maybe, and it's like 75 degrees today. Shorts and t shirt. That's a little bench right there. Probably the first bench I've seen that actually isn't falling apart. That's a little bit of a drop.
trying to get those people out there in the water, but the sun's glaring in my eyes and I can't really see them too good. Hopefully I got them in view. Yeah, I was hoping they were going to come this way. Okay, it looks like here we are. I'm hoping they cleared it out so we can actually get out and look at the water. There's not a bunch of brush and stuff here at the point. That would be disappointing. I'm going to probably try to get down there. I'm going to go up here and see if I can get down up here easier. If not, I'm going to come back and get down right there. See if I can get down up here a bit better though. Okay. We're back down here where we started at. There is no trail going up there. It shows you're walking along the, along the shore, then all of a sudden it goes up. There's no way to go up. Then I ran into a couple of doctors walking their dog, and I asked them about it, and they said no. Um, where did I come out of here? went by this fire. They said no, it doesn't go down that way. Uh, they said it's strictly an out and back. It's not a loop, so uh, all trails, you're wrong. So we are heading back the same trail we came in on. So if you come down this way, don't walk down the shore looking for the way out for the loop. It does not exist. Well, film this on the way in, so no sense filming on the way out. Okay, remember earlier when we were on the uh, bridal trail coming back, and we crossed a road, and I said, it looks like something back here. This is what's back here. It's the equine area for the horses. Um... I don't know what makes it actually special for horses. Dogs are not to be rented off leash in this area. Deer Creek State Park rules. So that's what's back here. And what's funny too is as I was coming back here, there's a little sign that says no hunting zone. So if those were hunting blinds that we saw earlier for the deer, I don't know. I don't know what else it could be. I'm going to sit myself down here at this table and enjoy the solitude back here. And I'm going to give me something to eat.